बेसिकली फॉर ओडीआई द प्री रिक्विजिट सर टू हैव लिटिल बिट नॉलेज ऑन डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग एंड डेटा बेस ओके सो वॉट आई विल डू इज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑन टू द ओडीआई आई विल गिव यू सम ट्रेनिंग ऑन डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग बेसिक्स एज वेल एज ऑन द डीबी सो लेकिन मे बी फॉर वन वीक और सो initially we'll start with the like you no know, database okay we'll choose oracle as our database okay so i'll uh, give you the concepts of database like you no know, what is a database what is like you no know, rdbms how did it evolved over period of time okay because right now from rdbms we are slowly moving towards like uh, no no sql databases right like no what is the difference between rdbms and no sql databases like no which is better when to go for rdbms when to go for like no no sql databases etc so like no first one week or so i'll give the training on that thing yeah, on the databases and then maybe for a couple of days or one week again we will go for like no data warehousing concepts like no what is a data warehouse okay why it is required okay and what are the current trends that are happening in data warehouse like you know people have started like you know not completely moving from data warehouse to data lakes but like you know nowadays people are preferring data lake also so like you know what is the difference between a data warehouse and a data lake and like you know which one to prefer and like you know how they are both coexisting in today's ecosystem or the like you know architecture and etc what are the like you no know, different uh, types of slowly changing dimensions we have how do we like you no know, model the star schema how do we model the snowflake schema when to go for star schema when to go for snowflake schema and all those things also i like you no know, give a brief training for you on the data warehousing concepts okay okay and then we will start with the actual training on odi oracle data integrator okay so is that okay. fine that like no you want to go step by step or like you no know, okay. do you need to start parallelly because like you no know, right now if you have already got into a project and you, if you need to work immediately what we can do is we can start parallelly so like no one day we can have a database session second day like no we can have some odi session alternate days also we can plan it's better like no we go step by step but uh, depending on your situation okay we can go by step by step it's good so we can go step by step right yeah that would yeah. be like you know the best way so that like you know you first get to know the complete details about the database then data warehouse and then we start looking into the odi okay okay so, so like you no know, at an high level uh, this is the like you no know, course curriculum for odi basically like you no know, we'll start with uh, what is odi okay then why is odi required then the like you no know, architecture of odi then what are the like you no know, different components that are available within the odi okay what are the different graphical modules and then we have something called as agent so like you know what is an agent how to create an agent etc and then we will go with the repositories what are the like you know repositories that odi has etc okay and uh, even like you know if you want i can uh, ins- show you the installation of odi in your uh, laptop okay even if you want we can like you uh, know install the odi in your uh, laptop okay okay uh, that will be kind of a like you uh, know live uh, demonstration for you so that like you know you'll even gain some uh, administration access like you know how to install the odi how to configure the agents everything okay okay yeah if you don't 
okay if you think we don't need that one then we can like no directly jump to the module 3 that is the like no odi topology so basically like you know in odi topology we will be creating the connections to our source and target databases or like no we can say source and targets whether it can be database or a file system or anything so like no in the odi how to configure or how to set up those schemas okay sources and targets okay even the fourth chapter is about the same like you know describing the physical and logical architecture basically in the physical architecture we will be giving the actual credentials of the server whether it's a source server or the target server okay we'll be giving that and we'll be mapping that with an logical architecture because like you know when we migrate the code from one environment to another environment there just will have to like you know change the physical architecture or the like you know physical actual server details whereas the logical architecture and everything remains the same okay then we'll start with the like you know setting up of a new project and in the new project like you know we'll be creating i'll be showing like you know what are the different projects and folders that are available and like you know we'll understand like you know what are the knowledge modules okay and what are the like you know standard process for like you know creating and setting up a new project uh, are you following is this speed okay yes. ah okay 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 then like you know we will go to the odi model concepts okay so like you know once we set up everything odi projects everything is set up we will have to import the sources and targets into our odi it will be just kind of like you know metadata we want to be importing the actual data of the tables or the source and target schemas but we will be just importing the like you know metadata so like you know how to import the models and like you know how can we organize how can we like you know create some constraints to enforce data quality rules and everything i'll be like you know showing you in the models concepts okay then we will create the actual mappings for moving the data from source to the target and while creating the mapping or like you know when designing a mapping like you know what are the standard processes that you need to follow okay because like you know when we create a mapping or anything we'll have uh, standards right some standards that will be following all the developers should adhere to that standards because like you know, if each developer develops the code as per his standards then it will be a complete mess right so i'll be telling you like you know what are the industry best practices that we going to follow okay so we before starting any project even like you no know, you will be asking your team lead or the project manager that like you no know, what are the standards that are available that i need to follow okay so if they don't have any standards then you can tell them that like you no know, these are the standards i have been following so would you like to follow the same okay so we'll be like you know i'll be show, showcasing you all the standards that we need to maintain when designing a mapping and like you know in while designing the mapping what are the like you know different business rules that we can apply like you know we can uh, apply filter condition we can like you know join two sources we can union two sources and there are like you no know, lot of other transformations or the business rules that we can apply so let like, you know we will be going through each one of them while designing the mappings okay and uh, we even have the concept of like you no know, reusable mappings okay so that like you no know, we can create uh, one mapping and use it in a number of mappings so like you know, once we create the mapping we'll have to run and execute and monitor it right 
whether the business rules that we have written are getting parsed successfully or not whether like no all the data is moving from source to the target or like no some some of the data is not getting loaded to the target so i'll be like no showing you how to monitor or like no if the mapping failed how to debug how to like no troubleshoot for a like no failed mapping or if the data hasn't moved like now i'll be showing you how we can debug at each component level so that we can identify exactly where it has failed okay, okay. so like this will be for some mapping and monitoring similar to mappings we have like no odi procedures so procedures also we can like no move the data or transform the data from one source to the target but generally as a standard practice we don't use mappings sorry we use mappings we don't use a procedure but like no in certain cases where like no there are certain limitations with the mapping then we go for procedures like no if there is any stored proc in your database that you would like to call so like no from a mapping you cannot call a stored procedure whereas from the procedure you can call the stored procedure okay or if you want to like no create some tables or if you want to like no create some tables or other stuff then also like no we can use odi procedures or to write any sql statements like no any dml operations we can use odi procedures okay so i'll be showing you each with an example like no while creating mappings de designing different mappings i'll be showing you one one examples like no how to move data from db to db how to move de data from db to file file to db file to file etc for each of the use case i'll be like no showing you or demonstrating one or two examples and then i'll be giving you assigning some work as well which you can like you know, do it in your free time and then before starting the next class we can review that okay and like no once we have created the mappings procedures everything then we'll be creating the packages okay so basically package is nothing but an arrangement or like no creating the dependencies like no after this mapping this mapping should get loaded or like no after this mapping this procedure should get executed it just kind of a like a no workflow wherein we will be like no arranging them in the order so what should run first what should run second third whether they need to run in parallel or whether they need to run in serial okay and if there are any errors how to handle them etc because like you know we will be creating n number of mappings depending upon your project you might create 100 mappings or even thousands of mappings also you will be creating so like no we cannot execute thousands of mappings right one by one yeah. or like no we cannot schedule thousands of jobs so what we'll do is we'll create packages or the load plans wherein like no in a single package or a single load plan you can configure hundreds of mappings or like you know depending upon the requirement okay basically we'll group them into a single package or a load plan okay so those things i'll be showing you in the packages and the load plans and then we'll be having the module tool which is nothing but creating scenarios and versions like you know basically i'll tell you what is a scenario okay what is the purpose of a scenario how we can use the scenarios in like you no know, load plans procedures mappings packages everything like you know for each how to create a scenario and like you no know, how do we move the scenarios from one environment to another and like you no know, how we can automate the scenario generation or like you no know, how can we schedule the scenarios because generally in a production environment we will be only migrating the scenarios 
will not move the actual code okay because like no we don't want anyone to change the mappings in production environment right so for that purpose odi provides this scenarios which are like no no one can execute those are encrypted ones okay so we'll be going through that and then the module 13 talks about like no the different data quality rules and the audit rules what we can like no enforce like no few of the data quality rules we can enforce at the model level some we can like no enforce at the mapping level so like now we'll be going through each okay where we can like uh, no enforce on the model level and where we can enforce in the mapping level then like you know we have a module 14 which is working with the change data capture change data capture is also like you know a very important concept wherein like you know if in the source we don't have any parameter to identify the newly changed or updated records then we'll be going with this odi cdc feature wherein we will like you know harvest or like no parts only the data which has recently changed okay if we have say uh, millions or billions of records parsing all the records doesn't make sense right so we need to move only the data which has recently changed so for that one we'll be using this cdc concept okay and finally we'll be going through this uh, security topics like you know how to create users how to like you know give them permissions how to like you know define the security policies etc okay? okay so just give me one second i'll show you the live demo in odi okay So like no, uh, this is the GUI of ODI 12C. Okay, we have the designer, operator, topology, and the security. So basically, a ODI developer will mostly work on these two modules: the designer and the operator. Okay. And then uh, ODI admin will work on topology and the security models. But as part of this training, I'll be teaching you both the developer as well as the admin. I'll be giving you providing you both the trainings, okay? okay? So that you can handle both developer tasks or admin tasks also. So like now we'll have to click on connect to repository. Then if you have set up any like no valid password, it will ask for the valid password. Sorry. I only forgot so now I have given the right password okay so here like you know we will be having a, if you are having multiple environments like development test UAT production so here we can like you know, select that particular environment so we will like you know, connect to the development environment uh, since I am the supervisor basically we will have different uh, roles okay Okay. Supervisor is of the highest, uh, like no, he is a kind of an administrator. So I will log in with the supervisor. Okay. 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 So here we can like you know create the users. Okay. Right now I just have the super uh, supervisor because like you know, i have uh, newly installed this uh, odi i haven't like you know, created any users so we just have the supervisor who is the admin okay so like you know, here we can like you know, create users and assign them roles like you no know, under profiles you see various roles connect console designer these are the like you no know, different roles that are available that we can give to any user 
or we can create our own roles as well okay so i'll show that towards the end of the class okay uh, end of the class is during the end of the training okay okay so like now this is the topology okay here like now oda supports these all these databases okay so whatever the list you see here oda supports all these technologies so it like no supports oracle it supports like you no know, mongo db mysql netiza and all these databases are the different technologies okay hive hado etc so like now here i have configured data warehouse source and the data warehouse target If you see here, for the data warehouse source, I have given the username, the password, and since uh, this is the since I am using my local host or the like, no laptop as the server, I have given the server name, the IP, sorry, the port number and the SID. Okay. So let's test this connection. you can see the connection is successful so now the oda is able to connect from this particular source similarly i have configured for the target okay once we have like now set up the source and the target okay we'll have to import the source and target tables in under the models okay so maybe i'll delete it once again okay now it's a fresh we don't have anything so we will import the source and the target tables into the odi for first we will import the source tables okay i'll create a new model folder this is nothing but like no just creating a folder to segregate okay so okay to create a folder we need to click here and say new model folder and we'll have to give a name so we'll say this is my oracle source Okay, and I'll click on this save button. So now you can see a folder has been created. Under this folder, I'll create a new model. Here, I will give the name as source. Other, I'll give just SRC. Okay, as a source. here we need to select the technology technology is oracle and the logical schema is data warehouse underscore source which we have created okay and then we need to click on this reverse engineering tab okay i'll say standard and i'll go to the selective reverse engineering tab And here I'll say objects to reverse engineer. So in my source database, these are all the tables that are available. Okay. okay. So even from here we can select and unselect. So now I have unselected all the tables. If I click here again, all the tables will get selected. If I don't want any particular table, I can go and Select from here as well. I don't want these two product tables. Okay. After selecting okay. the tables, 
will have to click on this reverse engineer do you want to save it is saying i'll say yes so once i have clicked on reverse engineer it will import all the metadata information into odi now if you see it has created a source model and it has imported all the tables but here you can see the product and the product categories tables have not been imported because we have not selected them other than those these two tables all other tables got imported okay here it's just the like no metadata but if you want to view we can like you know even view the data by clicking on this view data Okay. Okay. But the data is not stored in ODI. But we have the capability to view the data. Uh, you are following, right? Mm, yes, yes. Okay. So now, uh, similar to this source, we'll create a folder for target and import the target tables. So. I'll say new model folder, and I will say my target is data warehouse. Okay. So I've created a folder, data warehouse, and under this data warehouse, I'll create a model. I'll say new model. I'll say this is my Oracle target. I'll select technology as Oracle because like now my source and target both are Oracle. Okay. I'll select the schema as AWS target. Then I'll go to reverse engineer. I'll say standard reverse engineering. Okay. Then I'll go to selective reverse engineering. There is only like you no know, one table in my target, so it is just displaying one table employees. Okay? okay, I'll say reverse engineer this particular table. Okay, so now the table has been imported. Okay, now both my sources and targets have been imported. So once the source and target tables have been imported. We need to create a mapping. Okay, so okay. we'll create a mapping. To create a mapping, we'll have to go to the projects. Uh, before going to that, uh, the models, concepts, and everything you're fine, right? Mm, yes. If you have any doubts, just uh, stop and let me know. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. While we start, we can go to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here also, like you know. I'll delete this existing project. And we'll say create a new project. Okay. Here we'll give a name. Uh, we'll say employee warehouse. Okay. employee underscore data warehouse and click on save button select now a new project with employee data warehouse name has been created like now under this we'll be having this knowledge modules okay we have uh, six different kinds of knowledge modules and this is a like no very core concept so like you know uh, when we start the training i like no give Give you a detailed background of what is the knowledge module, what are the like no roles each knowledge module will play. Understanding this is like no very crucial because like no the entire code, what ODA generates, or how the data movement happens from one component to another, how the business rules are applied, how the like no transformation logics get applied. Everything will be 
part of this knowledge modules okay so it is a very crucial concept so like now by default a folder has been created if you want we can rename this also okay okay i will say demo okay so under this you can see these are the standard ones package mapping reusable mapping procedures which i was uh, discussing with you right under the course content what i showed it to you this things like no? what i showed you was this models right okay. what is the model how to reverse engineer there are like no, various standards and other things which i will teach you in detail okay but for today's okay. demo at an high level i showed you how what is a model how do we reverse engineer etc right but we just reverse engineer for the databases similarly for file how to reverse engineer for other technologies how to reverse engineer all those things i'll be showing you okay and then we'll be creating this mapping right mappings how to monitor using this like no procedures packages so everything will be working under this designer space mainly okay and okay. this operator is for monitoring purposes and these two as i said are mainly taken care by the odi admin but to give you a knowledge even like no i'll be giving you training on this one okay okay so now we'll create a mapping and see how the data moves from source to the target okay here we'll right click and say new map here we can give a name uh, we will say employee data movement here we can give a small description mapping to move data from source to warehouse it's always like you know good practice to add a description to your mapping so that like oh. uh, no anyone uh, who like no if your le team lead or someone reviews he can easily understand what is happening okay so once you click on it you will get this window under this default window you will have to drag all your sources So like now, I'll drag the employees from the source folder. Before that, let's see if we have data in this. Okay, so there is like no good amount of data in this table. So uh, let's use this employees table. I think it got. Uh, dragged and dropped twice so i'll remove this one table employees dot one which is not required we just need one table employees and now i will drag and drop my target table okay so now i have dropped my target table as well now we will have to link this one right so if i just click on this and drag it over to here it is asking me how do i want to match based on the name based on the position okay so i'll say go match based on the name okay so if the names are same it will do an auto mapping okay so now you can see everything these columns have got mapped 
the source columns have been mapped with the target but here for the integration id you can see it is not mapped because we don't have in the employees table any column with that particular name okay so there are like no a lot of options available here you can see over here right i'll explain you all these options what are these options and when we will be using these particular options okay, okay. here you can see there are like now on the source side there are two constraints primary key constraint and the foreign key constraint okay then we'll go to the physical tab okay here we need to select the optimization context since we are running in development environment i've selected the development okay then like now what are the source staging target unit everything i'll explain okay and here okay. there are like no multiple options remove temporary objects etc so like now i'll be explaining you all these things okay what is what and like now here we'll need to select the knowledge modules which i told you right is the core so basically we'll have to select the knowledge modules so since we are moving data from oracle to oracle i'll see which of the knowledge module is good for us oracle to oracle db link uh, right now we are not using any db links but i'll show you even like you know, how we can move the data using the db link knowledge module so we'll go with like no lkm sql to sql for now okay okay and we'll have to choose a ikm and ckm as well so i'll select okay ikm oracle insert is okay for me so i'll select this particular knowledge module and below that you can see various options so like no i'll explain you what are all these options and everything in detail similarly we'll have to select a ckm but i think right now there is nothing so like no the ckm is coming as blank okay okay we'll save this mapping what we have created and we'll try to run this particular mapping so like no the mapping has started executing so to check whether it has successfully completed or whether it is running or it has failed we need to go to the operator here like no we can check by date or by the agent that we have used to run or by like no session ids the status etc so here you can see that like you no know, whatever the mapping which we have executed has ran successfully this green symbol shows us that like you no know, the mapping has been successfully executed okay and if you uh, expand you can see like you no know, there are lot of steps when we created the mapping we just like no dragged and dropped only one source and one target right but in the background if you see odi has done lot of things okay these are the like yeah. no different steps it has performed all these steps get executed based on the knowledge modules that we select here if you see it is giving a reference drop staging table this action has been performed by the lkm sql to sql which we had selected after dropping it has tried to like you no know, create the table and here you can see a warning symbol right 
since the table was not existing it was unable to drop it so it gave a warning signal that like no there is no table to be dropped then it created the temporary table which knowledge module helped it the lkm knowledge module helped then using the same lkm knowledge module we have inserted the data into this c dollar table which got created in above step okay then using the ikm knowledge module we have loaded the data from this c dollar table into our actual final table which is this employees table okay after loading the data it has cleaned up or dropped that particular temporary table okay so this is how like you know, we'll be creating mappings and monitoring it okay similarly there are like you no know, various other co components like you no know, the reusable mappings the packages procedures variables sequences user functions markers and so on so like you no know, during this entire training i'll be like you no know, walking you through all these modules one by one in helping you out with like no what are the standard or the best practices to follow and like no and i'll be giving you one or demonstrating you one or two examples and i'll be giving you some assignments as well so that like no you can do it in your free time also as i said even if you need i can like you no know, show you how to install odi in your laptop or desktop so that like no you can practice do you have anything to ask oh uh, man this is from duration how many hours duration see uh, as i said maybe we will have some uh, uh, 45 classes for the database initially okay then 45 classes for the database also and then we will need uh, around uh, like you uh, know 25 to 30 sessions for odi so 30 to 40 sessions will be